Hi everybody. Today what we're going to do is we are going to make some salt clay. That's right. You just need three ingredients to make this salt clay and the best part is once you've mixed up the ingredients you can start playing with it right away. Uh, so I've got my apron on today and I gave me a fresh one a while back so I'm wearing it today for its first use and we're going to be creative. We're going to do some mixing and we're going to make some salt clay. So I'm going to point out all the different things I have here uh, on my cookie sheet. This is really helpful everybody. If you've got a cookie sheet, you can work within that. So if anything spills or dribbles, it's all caught in here. I have a bigger size bowl that you're going to mix your ingredients in. And so what I've got here is a finished salt dough clay. You can see how much it makes. It's a great little amount and it's soft, it's smooshy, it's not sticking to my hands and it's not crumbly, it's just right. So here's how you'll make yours. You will need a quarter cup of salt. I'm gonna put it in that bowl right here, okay? You're going to need a half of, of a cup of flour. I'm gonna pour it here for the moment. So see the difference in that size, a quarter cup and a half cup? Okay, lastly, I filled up a quarter cup worth of water and I put the water in this little container right here. That's all you need. Quarter cup salt, half a cup flour, quarter cup of water. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to combine the dry ingredients together. So there's my flour. I'm going to sprinkle the salt in and before I add the water I want to really combine this together so I'm going to push it side to side up and down all around use that spatula to push it down into the bottom of the bowl I want to cross okay so I want to combine it a bit now I'm going to start to add the water but I'm going to add it really slow and mix a little bit. So I'm going to add just a bit and start to move my spatula around. Add a little more. You'll see as I go, it's going to look crumbly for a little bit here and then it'll start to form. As you're going, when you've mixed this, if it still seems crumbly, you might need to add just a little bit more water than that quarter cup. If it seems kind of sticky, like it's going to stick to your hands once you start touching it, then you can just add a little bit more flour. Just a little. It's always easier to add a little more. See how it's starting to kind of ball up? There's little clumps there. I still have a little bit more water to go. of it in. Still going to use my spatula a little bit more. Now it's really starting to come together here. I'm using my spatula just to push down some of that ex the extra dry ingredients. See there? It is starting to come together. Now I can use my hands on it see how it feels. Take some of that off my spatula. Pick it up here. Ooh, that feels so good. So smooshy. Like some of you guys would say it's very satisfying. <laughs> so it's a teeny bit sticky. So I could use a little bit of my flour I had here. And I'll dry it up a little bit. got my salt dough made. I can wash my hands off just because I got a little bit stuck, but overall it is working out really nice. And you could start playing with this right away. You could move these other things off of your cookie sheet, lay right on that sheet. Yay! Now I'm gonna make salt clay. Wasn't that easy? Now 
you know. Now, to keep your salt clay lasting for a bit, you can just put it into a Ziploc bag, seal it up, and it'll last you for a bit. Now, if you want to have a grown-up uh, help you change up your salt clay a little bit, you could add some food coloring to it if you have any at your house. If you don't, just use that clay as is. But I put a couple drops of food coloring in this and mixed it, smooshed it with my hands. Now my hands had gotten really messy, but it all washed off. So if you want to have a bunch of different colors, you could do that with one batch worth. I was going to start to make an earth eventually with that. Something else you could try if you have cookie cutters at home. I did some cookie cutters and made some little teeny salt clay ornaments. Now, I have to tell you, I put them in the toaster oven. This one here, I put in for 10 minutes at 250 degrees. It still wasn't all the way set. I can kind of smush it a little bit here. You can maybe see with the coloring, the whiter it is, the more baked it was. Um, this one I left in for about 40 minutes. Could have probably still left it a little bit longer, but just wanted to see the difference. And they're not gonna stay permanent, but if you wanna have something last a little longer, have a little decoration in your house, you could try that out too. Again, that's definitely one for a grown-up. You have it in a toaster oven or in a regular oven on a cookie sheet. Try it at a low temp. I tried 250 degrees. So I hope you had fun today. Keep being creative. I miss you guys and have fun.